you are, have a lot of access to money at a young age, you have a lot of access to no supervision, and drugs, and sex with extremely young and attractive people, and it's like this whole, all your benefits and your pros are like this party lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And it's much more socially acceptable for men to partake in that than women. Mm -hmm. Like as a woman, if you have like, you're like, oh, I'm suddenly surrounded by a whole bunch of attractive men. If you go and sleep with them, it's considered extremely negative. Yeah. But for a man, you're just like fist bump. Now you're having sex with a lot of models. The ego thing is very different, extremely different. Because men, despite whether they're attractive or not, never get told they're attractive. So basically, they're in the industry where now they've been given like a card or like a stamp that's like, you are officially now attractive. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. You're one of the lucky few. <laughs> exactly. Whereas if a woman is attractive, she will probably get told and hit on all the time. Yeah. Men develop this really strange ego thing that I've noticed is a huge pattern where they're extremely insecure and extremely vain at the exact same time. Yeah. And they think that they own the world and then they're in constant struggle where they're like, I'm officially attractive, I can get any girl I want, which is a huge ego trip for men especially. Because yeah. women, you're like, I have a vagina, basically any man will want to sleep with me anyways. Yeah. Like, so for men to have like the key that opens so many locks, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm amazing. I've just noticed a lot of people towards the end of their, of their moment of insanity, um, they get really sad because they realize that maybe pointless sex isn't absolutely everything, but that's all they know. And then no one really takes them seriously because of who they've made themselves into. So they kind of realize that they'll never be in love because they don't love themselves enough. And it's just, it's kind of sad to watch, I guess. Because I have a couple of friends who are like that, who are finally realizing that, like, because at the, at the exact same time, they love themselves, they hate themselves. They're so vain that they won't accept anything but the best yeah. in their own mind and then yeah. at the same time they don't they, think they deserve it they don't think they deserve to be loved yeah so then what they do is they turn what they want into an, a sexual object it makes it easier for them to just be like oh now you're a piece of ass you know because you won't love me anyway it's because i don't love myself mm -hmm. and then it's just it's really strange to watch that weird self-destruction